Evantec here, welcome back to yet another video for Subnautica Below Zero. And in today's video I will show you how to get all the useful underwater plants in the game. To make this video easier to follow I will start at the starting location of the game itself. So this is the crash site exit point. I'm also placing the coordinates on the screen right now. There are 5 underwater plants that are useful. And these are the bullseye shroom, the ribbon plant, the creepvine seed cluster, the spiral plant, the young cotton anemone, and lastly the gel sacs. So the first three plants that we can find are in the shallow twisty bridges biome which makes them quite easy to find. Here we have the bullseye shroom which you harvest by hitting with a knife. From this single chunk you can start growing a whole garden and it only takes up one inventory slot. So the cool thing about this shroom is that it replenishes food and water. So the next thing coming up is the ribbon plant which is used to make some batteries. And you don't have to harvest the seed right away. You can pick up the whole plant which only takes up two inventory slots. But you can place it in a planter and by hitting it you can get up to seven seeds out of it. If you found this video helpful in any way, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. The next plant we are going to harvest is the creep vine, and you harvest it by picking up the creep vine seed cluster fruits. New blueprint synthesized. For the next two plants, we will have to go to the deep purple vents. Just keep in mind that this guide is dedicated towards the plants that are actually useful. You can also harvest some plants for decorations like this uh, violet blue plant that's right below us. You can actually harvest that plant as well. Just hit it with a knife and you'll get some seeds for it. As you can see I have a marker on the map. I will also provide you with the coordinates on how to get to the deep purple vents so they will be visible on the screen once we get there. I also have a dedicated video on how to get to the deep purple vents. So I'm placing the link to that video on the screen right now and you can find it also in the description to this video. Right, so we are starting to reach the purple vents biome and we will continue southeast and this is not the most safe route to take because there's actually a very dangerous leviathan in this area so if you want to get here safely watch the other video I have recommended to you guys. That video shows you how to get there safely, but you will have to take a longer route. Right, so here's an area that dips down a little bit. And after that, if you go a little bit further, you will find a large ravine, which is actually the entrance to the deep purple vents. And here are the coordinates on your screen right now. And actually on the walls to this area, you will find some gel sacs. So you can go ahead and harvest those as well. And you can pretty much find gel sacs all over the map. Now that we have the gel sacs, we are going to go to the bottom of the deep purple vents. And for that, you will need an upgraded sea truck or you will have to free dive beyond 300 meters. Okay, so as you can see, right in front of us is the spiral plant. And you will have to harvest the spiral chunk by clipping it with a knife. Let's go back to our sea truck. We have the spiral chunk with us so we can now proceed and go to the area where we can find the young cotton anemone. And this is located in a specific area on the map. And also this is the only location where you will be able to find the young cotton anemone. And pretty much I can guarantee you that for the next location you will need an upgraded sea truck depth module in order to get there because this is located around 500 meters in depth. And if you need a detailed video on how to get to the deep lily pad cave, here's the video link on your screen right now and in the description down below. And as long as you are able to locate this shipwreck, here's a quick tip on how to get there flawlessly. Just align yourselves like so along this edge and it will actually point you towards the deep purple vents cave. 
and this area is riddled with some squid sharks so use this perimeter upgrade like such or try to avoid them at any cost. Okay, so once you find the huge boulder right in the middle of the map, you can't miss it. You will actually find a crevice that's right below it. So you will enter this and what you want to do is proceed downwards until you reach the very bottom of this, I think, geological formation you will call it. Yeah, just proceed downwards. And there we go. We have just reached the entry point, the beginning of the deep mushroom cave and this is actually enough because at the entrance of this area you will find the young cotton anemone and same as the other plants you can actually pick this up and replant it at your base or you can just hit it with a knife to get a seed all right so now that we have all the useful exterior or sea plants in our inventory we can go ahead and plant them in an exterior grow bed and actually, given enough time, these plants will grow out to their full potential and they will grow fruit, they will be able to be harvested again. So yeah, as you can see here, we have a ribbon plant which is fully grown. I have just replanted it. So we can now go ahead and hit it a bunch of times with a knife to get back seven seeds from the ribbon plant so all we have to do now is replant these seeds as many times as we wish okay so i left these plants to grow for a full day and night cycle and this is the end result now we can reproduce all these plants so we can get this bullseye shroom this spiral chunk this young cotton anemone some more ribbon plants and if we harvest the fruit we can replant another creep vine what if you want to grow the plants inside a land base so you can also do that for that you will use an alien containment unit and what you want to do is actually stack two alien containment units on top of each other because there is a restriction that if you don't have a double containment unit you will not be able to fully grow a creep vine and I have actually tested this for you guys so the plant will stop growing at 53% and will wait for you to add another containment unit on top of it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed this content. Also, if you want to see another video, maybe a guide for land-based plants, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified about future uploads. And this is Evantic signing off. Until next time.